this spot is so incredible, not many people actually go here to ghost hunt. And not only are these entities seen in the estate, they're also seen on the property. Oh, 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 what, what the f was that? What the f? What? 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 what did you just see, Bob? You were standing Charles, what the f? Holy sh. Please tell me you sensed that, or at least saw what the f I just saw. Just, it's right there. There's a person standing right there. I'm walking around. I'm walking around. I am walking around right now. Chelsea, that's behind you. That's literally behind you right now. Hearing this stuff? Like, why don't people come? I just feel like locals just know. They know this is haunted. It's deemed to be legitimately haunted. Are you a demon? Episode number six is going down. How are you feeling today? Feeling good, I'm feeling good. Feeling pumped? Feeling pumped. How are you feeling? I'm okay. You know, we've been here a few times already mm -hmm. in the past and every single time we come back, we seem to witness some sort of apparition. You've seen it, I've seen one run right behind you. Yeah. It was incredible. And we're also returning back for another reason, which I'll explain in a bit. But hey, this is the Uniaka State Forest, which is so underrated. I have to say this is probably our most heaviest forest or top three that we've been to. Yeah, forest-wise. Forest-wise. And that, that comes to show, like we've done cryptid forests, we've done like legitimate haunted forests. And this has been an experiment because so many locals have actually claimed to see the family members here. So this estate was built in 1813 constructed in between that time in 1818 and was finally finished in that year and Richard John Uyak was the maker the creator and the owner of this estate and he was a former attorney general in the war of 1812 and the funny thing is after the war he actually built this estate on this property for his family of 11 kids it's a lot of kids that's a lot of freaking kids and also a cool thing about Richard John Uniac, I don't know if you know this, but he was brought to Halifax in chains because he actually betrayed, I think it was his own army, and he was helping the rebels during that time. I didn't know that. So he was actually legitimately on trial for treason. I think tonight we're going to see if we can crack down on some of the previous spirits we actually ran into. So his daughter, Miss Lady Mary, is known to be seen in an old dress across the property. A little boy allegedly drowned in the pond there, so a lot of people have witnessed this. Miss Lady Mary, his daughter, was married to a British Admiral in the Navy, and he actually died in the Bermuda Triangle, which it's crazy. There's been one report of someone seeing him. We ended up digging that up and someone told us that she saw a British soldier. I don't know if that's true, um, but hey, I mean, this could go so many ways. You never really know with the paranormal, right? Yeah, so now. we're ripping through the population now, baby. I'm a race car driver. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you don't want to miss our stop. Here it is, baby. Uniaka State Park. I don't know about you, but I can already feel the uh, the energy. Look at that. Wow. Oh man. Just this threshold is crazy, right? I know. I remember the walk going up to the spot last time we were here at night, and it's like you constantly feel like there's just people running in these woods. Like you're constantly always looking behind you, and 
I know. The woods are scary at night. Yeah, and these ones are so underrated. Yeah, they really are. What are the odds we pass it? And we actually capture a full-on apparition tonight. Like, what are the odds of that? This spot is so incredible. Not many people actually go here to ghost hunt. And not only are these entities seen in the estate, they're also seen on the property. And so much so that the security guard that we ran into actually saw a woman in an old dress on a bicycle. And he's been here ever since he was young. The scary thing was she was six feet off the ground. That's what he told me. And she later on went around the building to never be seen again. So one of the main reasons why we're actually back here today is because I received an email from a woman named Isabel. And later on replying to that email, she asked me not to show her email or mention her last name. So can't really call her out there. But she let me know. She came here with her 96-year-old mother, which is a skeptical. Who is that? I don't know. Sound like a rhino. Yeah. <laughs> So this woman came with her 96 year old mother and she seemed to be a skeptical person and this actually scared the daughter so bad her mother witnessed a woman in old attire and not only that for what she said afterwards is kind of giving me the chills so her mother said that she hasn't seen a tire like that and a dress like that since she was a little girl and think of how old you would be if you were 96 now you know back as a little girl you'd be like 96. You'd be like late 20s. You would be born in the late 20s, mm -hmm. a little girl in the early 30s. Think of like the old attire. Yeah, that's true. You know, and this probably goes even further back since this was built in 1818, right? So this woman saw a woman in a dress. And then later on said to her daughter, she heard a child's voice as well. So tonight I think we're basing all of this on them, which are seen across the property. We're coming for you, peoples. Call them out, baby. Call them out. I feel like a little kid in a candy shop, you know, just like. Oh. <laughs> just, You're already on edge. It's like. Just like eagerly waiting for it to be dark time so that we can pass the gate and talk to these spirits who, who just roam here. You feel so much energy, like so much here. Like you can even just see that this road was like an old road. But like the carriages would come on, you know? This must have been one of the original roads and pathways that led up to the Uniac estate. I don't know, I just get this very strong visual of a man who would have his carriage and he would have two brown horses and he would wear like a big tall um, like hat, like a black top hat. And I just picture him with the big black wheels of the carriage and a black carriage just picking up people and coming down this path. Like it's just such a strong visual. So you just got that now? Yeah, like it's just so strong. Like I can just envision them coming towards us. The two horses just galloping with the man kind of like sitting, but he looks like he's kind of standing. Yeah. And he's coming down here. I mean, you very well could be honest with something. This was 1800s. They would have had horse and buggies, right? Definitely. Definitely. So. Well, I do remember when we came here to actually go inside the museum, like when we first moved here, he was saying that it was horse and buggy and that the 30 minute drive that we just had from here to Halifax would take four hours. It's crazy. I say we wait for the darkness to come and then we start investigating. Absolutely. See you soon, friends. On the other side now. Officially past it. Yeah. Oh, I'm already getting so anxious already. I know we gotta walk about 10 to 15 minutes deep into the forest, but anything could happen, babe. Anything, anything could actually go down tonight. So we just gotta watch ourselves. So since many people actually claim to see this woman in an old dress, we're gonna base this entire investigation in IR in the darkness and see if we can communicate with her. There are any spirits with us today. We're going to be making our way deeper into the forest in hopes to communicate with people, with you guys. If you want to come out and talk with us, now is your chance. I almost get this overwhelming sense of 
Like, someone's already with us right now. Like, following behind us? Yeah, yeah. like straight up, already with us. Yeah, I get that too. You're not getting any messages right now? No, right now, no. This is crazy. This is really heavy. I'm excited to get... Well, I can't even see in front of me. It's so dark. It is very dark. I'm excited to get closer to the house, so I feel like the energy will be more, like, um, more dense there, I guess. Wait, point the light that way? What? Yo, I swear to God, I just saw a black cat. You just saw a black cat? I just saw a black cat. Just dart across here. It looked like it came from here and then just ran to the path. I didn't see serious? it. Yeah, I didn't see it like fully go across the path, but it like ran down and then I didn't see it anymore after it came like mid path. I swear it was a black cat. Wow. Here, kitty kitty. So I think at this point, we're gonna go to the gazebo in front of the estate and try and call out Miss Lady Mary, as well as a little boy who was seen around the pond. I actually think I'm hearing stuff already. What kind of things are you hearing? I'm hearing like footsteps and leaves kind of rustling. Maybe hopefully we can actually get in contact with them tonight and see if they can come out and give us some answers as to why they're still here. You're not hearing that? We gotta be very careful, babe. Because whatever's in this forest could be very dangerous, whether that's an animal or a spirit. I don't want to constantly look deep into the forest because I, I don't know what I'm gonna see. And that's, like, that's the scary part of it. You know, like when you go looking for something, that's when something's gonna like pop out. Do we go this way or what? I think so. I remember correcting. Oh, what is that? What is that? Did you hear that? Yeah. It's literally coming from right in front of us. Somebody here? It could just be the oh! Oh! What was that? The f was that? What the hell? Could that have been an animal or something? Can I put your light on? Just for a second. That was in there. Okay. I'm gonna leave this light on. I don't know if that was an animal or... Yeah, just leave it on for now. Just so we can kind of get our surroundings and then we can turn it off. Um, I know, right? Why are there lights on? I don't know. Oh, listen. Who's here with us right now? I don't know, I feel like someone's trying to trail with us right now. It's hard to explain, I'm getting that feeling like we're not alone. I also just thought of it like, seeing a black cat if you're superstitious usually means like bad luck. Really? Especially if a black cat crosses your path. It means bad luck. Yeah, for people who are like superstitious. I mean, I see black cats as good luck because it's like witch stuff, but <laughs> depends on the person, I guess. But usually it's known as a superstition that it means Bad luck. Okay, so we're coming up to the pond in which it's said that the little boy drowned in. And there's been claims too of people, if they get too close to the water, they'll hear a little boy being like, watch out or back up. Or like something. Like warning them to. Like warning them to get away from the water.
you're the little boy, feel free to come out and join us today. I'm actually like on edge tonight. I know, right? Come on, t shirt. Did you hear that? What? I heard a woman cry. You heard a woman cry? Yeah. Just like a really quick, like, huh? <laughs> like, hello? If there's any spirits with us, can you make yourself known? Come out and communicate with us? My name is Chelsea and this is my partner Lamar. And we've actually been here a couple of times now. At night, during the day. We even took a tour of the estate. Do you hear that? Like galloping kind of i heard like galloping in the forest what is up with this right now let's keep getting closer to the estate the closer we get like it's just stronger and stronger so this is the gazebo where a lot of people say that miss lady mary and Eliza, Mr. Uniac's wife, is seen. So I say we run a spirit box here and see what we can find. Miss Lady Mary, you are here with us. Or Eliza, please come and talk to us. Oh, the energy is so strong right now. It's getting so heavy yeah. you feel that right yeah, like the closer we get the heavier it gets emerge emerge it's like they're starting to they're starting to emerge the only thing that i can relate to that is the little boy emerging from the water Mer they emerged him from the water maybe true just gonna see if i can make this go loud What's in your hand? These are these are cameras we're holding. It's to kind of document our time with you tonight. I'm not sure if you know this, but cameras actually capture life. Cameras capture moments. So what we're doing right now is filming stuff that the world will see. So nowadays, the entire world will see this and they can hear your voice and your messages. Please tell us who's with us right now. I wanna to say too that nothing we have will hurt you in any way. Our intentions are not bad. Our intentions are only to communicate with you. There'll be no harm done at all. Please tell us your name. Something? Many. Many. Just panning it just in case. Oh, I just felt someone behind me. Did you? Yeah, I just had that sense of someone behind me. <gasps> what? Holy! What? You didn't hear that, did you? Like a squeak? That scared the f out of me. Did you hear a squeak? No, no, no. What did you hear? It almost sounded like a footstep. Who like was behind just behind me. Lamar? Who's walking around the gazebo right now? Sorry if I scared you or seemed scared. Just was not expecting that. That's what we heard last time too, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, walking around spot. this. Do you like looking at the view from the gazebo? 
enjoying the property. Go and walk right here, if you can. Just right here. It got like increasingly cold right now. Do you feel that? Yeah, it's very cold. Are you gonna come out tonight? Fast. Fast? You're gonna walk fast? that sound? You hear that, right? Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? Kind of. It sounded like a knocking of some sort, but from a distance. We're gonna go I'm with- I'm very happy. What? You're happy. What makes you happy right now? What's bringing you this happiness? I feel like the energy is kind of like gone still. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's. They were here. I think we kind of disturbed them. I think maybe. so. Yeah. Sorry if we disturbed you, or if you were just hanging around out here. We just came to communicate with you. There are a lot of stories saying that people have seen a woman in an old dress. So we came to try and see you. Pretty much. See if you will appear to us. I have a thing for old dresses. I would love to see your old dress. I have a couple really old ones at home too. Maybe they look like your dress. Please come show me your dress. Please don't stop. <gasps> Let us know what you want us to continue doing and, and we'll and we will respect that. You I think we should make our way into the forest. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like it's pretty like mellowed right now. Yeah. The energy right. right here. All right, so we're coming up now. Oh, I feel like the farther we go, the more intense it's feeling. Yeah, you I know? know. Especially getting closer and closer to the forest line. It's right there. All right. Frick. We actually haven't went all dark like this in such a long time. We usually have the normal light on, but now we just have very little light right now, which is making it very scary. Yeah, you can't even see like a hundred I know. I think I'm gonna roll my ankle on this. Careful. was that? Where did that come from? That actually sounded like a little child. It did. And literally we're right next to the water. Like right next to it. It's the little boy here. Maybe we're too close to the water. Did we just hear you? Whoa! What was that? It's like knocking on stuff. Yeah.
it's it's literally coming from in there that's where it's coming from it's not in the field it's actually coming from in the forest You got a headache? Yeah, like all of a sudden. I you okay? just got a wicked headache. Yeah, I'm good. Oh boy. A beaver got to that. Pretty good snack. All right, so right now, we're gonna try and make our way deeper into this forest. Who's with us right now? I don't know about you, but I feel like the farther we're actually going in, the more dangerous it feels, you know? Yeah, I'm actually like really dizzy right now. You okay? Yeah, I don't I don't know how to explain it. I just have like a wicked headache and I'm just like I feel like the whole thing is just going like that. I'm quite yeah. dizzy. Is somebody making Chelsea feel dizzy? James. 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 Hi, James. Who are you? What do you have to do with this land? Is that walking? I actually think this walking. Whoa. Chels? What? Chels? What the f was that? What in the f was that? I am not even playing right now, Charles. I'm trying to see if my camera would pick that up. I actually just saw, like, like someone wearing white. Like an old dress. Not a dress, but like just an all white. I couldn't pick up if it was a dress or, but like whatever was right there was standing on the right side of the path in all white. Who did I just see? What the? I'm telling you, this forest is like otherworldly. Like that was that actually scared me. Can you show yourself again? <laughs> Charles, I don't I don't know how to explain that. That actually really scared me. Listen to my voice. <laughs> Holy sh! Okay, we're gonna take a moment to listen, okay? Just moaning. Amy, let's walk. Amy, away. let's walk. It could I be, or it could be the water. Is somebody walking by the shore down there? Yeah, that's water. That it's like picking up was. Excuse my language. I'm like, listen to my voice, and right when we listen, there's a moan. Then it said Amy. Almost sounded like they were crying. I know. Why but are you crying? It's kind of similar to the like the cry that I heard when we first got on the property. Remember? Yeah. Like, like I'm actually concerned now. I feel like there's a different spirit in here than by the gazebo. Yeah, or near the house. Why are you crying? Bullet. Bullet? Bullet? Did someone shoot you here? Hun, he was in the War of 1812. Oh my gosh. The Battle of Fort Cumberland. I think we're talking to Uniac here. Something just touched my back. 
What? I think something just touched my back. Something just touched your back? Yeah, like I just a little poke. I felt like a sharp, a sharpness in my back. What the? What the? Someone's around us right. Someone's around us right now. Irish. I'm Irish. Is that what you mean? Or are you Irish? I just keep sensing someone walking towards us. Listen, there's walking. Is there anything you want to tell us? A message you want to put out to the world? Your story? Smoke, like fire. Mm -hmm. I think we should keep going down deeper. Yeah, this is kind of where we stopped the first time. Yeah, we were in this general area the first time. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna try and go a little bit deeper. So I'm not too Feathers. sure. Feathers. 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 What the? What the? What? You didn't hear that? What did you hear? Something is down there. For me, I, I have a hard time hearing it because I'm hearing like the waves. Listen. Kind of sounds like right there. someone's like walking. Yeah, like, with in the, the feet water. in the yeah. water. Yeah. Flashing. Flashing. Can you appear for us, please? Can you tell us why you're still on this land? Do you have a connection to it? I keep getting the vibe that we should turn back but I also am like really intrigued to just go a little bit deeper and see what else is back there. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, what, what the f was that? What the f What? What the f What did you just see? I don't know why I'm tripping like this, babe. Every single time I'm here, I'm seeing app apparition after apparition. Like it's actually scaring me. Something right here just manifested up the hill. Why is it always behind me? Even the first time we came, remember you saw someone running behind me? Yeah, something is here. Something is... And then something touched my back. It's like they're constantly behind. Who did I just see? I'm not even joking right now. I can't believe you did. This is enough to make me like want to go back right now. I don't know what that was. Almost sounded like someone walking and then it like popped up, up the... Again? Was that your bag that like moved this and made a noise? I don't know. I heard something and it sounded like it was coming from right behind you, but it might have been your bag with the tree. Sorry to interrupt you. So usually while we're in forest, a lot of stuff can happen, disembodied voices, apparitions, but I feel like what I just saw truly makes me want to go deeper into the forest to see what we can capture. Maybe we can capture this entity on tape, because every time we come here, seems like some sort of apparition manifests itself to us. I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but I feel... I'm Julian. Julian. I feel like I'm just losing my head slowly, if that makes sense. I feel like one of the spirits kind of playing with you, right? Yeah. They might be enjoying, like, the reaction that they're getting out of you. Julian, are you the little boy that a lot of people see here an experience. What? What? I just heard walking right behind us. And something just go woo. Can you show yourself? I just heard you. 
What were you trying to tell me? Again, it's always from behind. Always. Twenty. Twenty? Twenty what? I'm getting a really eerie vibe. Yeah, it's starting to get really weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a feel- I was oh, oh my f- Oh my f- Wow. I was hung. John. John, are you telling us that you were hung? Were you hung on these grounds? I'm sorry that happened to you. You gotta be kidding me. You need help. You need help. How, how can we help you? What do you need help with? Hung. Has there been any like, any records of hangings on here? I don't know. I truly don't know. We'll have to kind of dig into that. Let us know how we can help you and we'll try our best. Are you related to the Battle of Fort Cumberland? So the Battle of Fort Cumberland is what Richard John Uniac was involved in. And that's why he was actually, in fact, brought to Halifax in handcuffs because he helped the rebels in the Battle of Fort Cumberland. So I wonder if he is here with us right now. He said, Bullet, Richard, are you here with us right now? I'm calling out to you. This might actually have to just be an investigation with the spirit box because it is damn windy right now. Mindful. That's what you're getting? Yeah. Just something like. about... What did that say? Like. Like? I don't know. It, all I'm getting is like, mindful, mindful. Kind of like a, a caution, I guess. And this is a weird, weird night. I know. I, I don't know how to explain the energy of this place. Like, it's, it's so, like, mismatched. The energy levels is, is heightened right now. It might seem very like, it might seem very quiet, but I feel like I'm, like right now I'm tearing. I don't know why I'm tearing right now. You need to step away from where you are. Why? Just step away. I'm trying to lie. <gasps> what the f Just, what? just, the f the what? f what did you just see, Bob? You were standing Just what the f Holy sh**. Talk to me. Please tell me you sensed that, or at least saw what the f I just saw. He died. Just, it's right there. There's a person standing right there. Just, right there. Turn your light on. It's a fing person. Where? Whisper. I just saw a person sti- What the f Your light just turned off. What the f is happening right now? Something just poked my leg. I'm sorry for tripping so, out right now. I just had the weirdest, no. like, 30 seconds. And that is why I told you you needed to step away from where you were because oh. you were too close to the big rocks that would follow you into the water. That was so trippy. Okay, this is gonna sound really weird. But you know how in the videos, our episodes, I put like stock footage of like ghosts to kind of like give a visual to people? Yeah, like in the intros? Yeah, like in a hallway. I'm or... walking around. Huh. I'm yeah, walking yeah. around. I am walking around right now. Oh my God, guys. The stock footage that I put in the videos where it's like something walking in a hall or... Yeah. I just saw that. It almost brought me a visual of someone walking down the path with me right now. I don't know if it was a little boy, but it was probably maybe 15, 16 years old. <sighs> Christ, I, I need a moment. Sorry guys, I do not mean to trip out like this. I just need to reset myself. 
Christ. And then it says I'm walking around. Yeah, like confirmation for sure. Yeah, right there. And then it says I'm walking around. It's almost like they're, they see us, but they're very distant. It, they're like trailing and watching us and they are. Holy shit. And 10%. I don't mean to like be so freaked out about seeing them. I'm just, it's just the fact that I'm not used to just seeing full out stuff like that. Out. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that in mind. I don't mean to be scared of you. I just did not expect to see that. Who did I just see in the path though? Someone tell me who I just saw in the path. I heard that same noise I heard before. The whoop. It was a man. What is that noise I'm hearing? What are you trying to say? I'm so confused on this place. What are you trying to say right now? Let's go right to where I saw that. Oh my god. That literally just scared the sh out of me. Someone was standing on the right side of the path. Hello? Fuck, go back. Yeah. Go back, go back. I need the light. I can't see a single thing. Who the fuck is walking? I don't know, babe, but honestly, I'm. I'm <laughs> What's your name? What the f is happening right now? I'm seriously not getting a good vibe. You're not getting a good vibe? No, like it, it's just still just saying be cautious, cautious, mindful. It's still walking around, whatever is here. Just want to say thank you. I don't know why that scared me so bad. I'm I'm usually not this scared, but that scared me like beyond anything I've ever I think we need to turn around. We actually got this last time, right? Yeah. Where we needed to turn around because we had that feeling. We need to turn around. Blanche. Blanche? Blanche. Be like residual too, right? It could be someone like just walking a path over and over. I've never felt this before. If you want to go forward, we can, but all I'm saying is like I'm getting a lot of like a lot from I don't even know from who, but it's someone just saying like. Like, don't disturb, just leave them. Like, if you're going to go forward, like, proceed with, like, caution. Just in the sense where, like, you might be pushing something right now. Even though we're not intentionally, like, trying to push anything, it's just, like, unwanted is what I'm getting. Like, unwanted visit. I don't know what I just saw, but it was almost like I saw a little 15-year-old boy, but it had the vibe of a demon, where it was almost like... On my Nancy. One more minute further up. One more minute. Just one more minute. That's all. Oh my gosh, it keeps shutting off. 
Arm. Arm. Why do you keep turning off our battery? It's fully our charged. Our Are you taking the energy from it? So you can get stronger? So, what I was gonna say is, I kept feeling like this thing that I just saw, the little teenage boy or girl, is like what I got inside intuitively was something I've never felt a message like this ever. Like, I don't get messages, but it was almost like, come get me or come find me, something like that, that like a, a kid says. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I don't. There's gonna be so many people that are gonna be judging the hell out of me in the comment section, but I don't give a. F They're not here. Like this place is actually freaky. This, this. Like I'm, I'm ready to just like bolt it back to the car. And honestly, it takes a lot to freak me out. Like I'm normally decently calm. What the f okay. Jesus. Oh my god. We did your Edmund. Edmund, is that you? Christ all oh, freaking mighty, guys. I don't think that could have gone any more clear. I understand you. Yeah. You understand that you're freaking me the hell out? I like your oh. oh. Okay. Oh. We did your minute. Further. No. Hun, we're going further. I... Where are you? Are you a demon? What? What the f- You didn't hear- You didn't hear that moan? It's like it's targeting you. You're not hearing this stuff? I didn't hear that last moan. You're not... You're I didn't. Being right I'm now. being serious. I did not hear that. Wait, I actually... I think it's fully targeting you. You actually didn't hear that? No, don't, I, I... Don't play with me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not playing. Right I'm not playing. I did not hear it. I'm literally not joking around right now. I'm full on crying. I'm full on crying. Uh, Billy. I think we still need to start waking our way back. Seriously. Oh my god. You didn't hear that. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I believe you, but I, I honestly think that it's fully targeting you. Entity yeah. or spirit, I, I don't know, but it's... It's getting, like, enjoyment out of you. It's like one of those movies I'm like... Like, this is not like me to freak out this bad. You know those movies where... You, like, when they go into a, th a certain threshold, they just feel like they, they, they can't get out? Yeah. I can't even talk right now. You know those movies, like, kind of like Silent Hill, where they go in, but then they're stuck in this weird world? It's only them experiencing that stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling right now. It's... <sighs> I I can't believe One you... One man here. One man here. I can't believe you didn't hear that, though. That was like a full-on moan. You also were, like, a lot further up than I was. You ro kept walking and I stopped. I even... Yeah, like, I... I'm straight up crying right now. You guys probably can't see this. I'm, like, I'm... I was literally tearing. Holy sh! I say we start making our way back to the estate and kind of regroup. For What's a weird is it's so beautiful in the daytime, and to be at that museum to experience this—it's a beautiful property. This is a beautiful path, but there's something weird about it at night. Like, why don't people come? and walk this at night you know what i mean you don't see that people and I are wonder probably if, in bed right now <laughs> well not only that i just feel like locals just know they know this is haunted it's deemed to be legitimately haunted oh my god oh, are you 
okay? Yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm just like I'm just like thrown off. <laughs> and I, I'm like honestly like I'm getting a little worried for you. I think we just need to keep moving. Especially like it, it's it's feeding off of you right now. Device. Where are you? Are you a demon? Where are you? Are you a demon? Who is doing this right now? This this episode is just totally different. I apologize, everybody. I, I came to communicate with. That was a scream. Okay, let's keep moving. Seriously. Ten seconds. No. Give it ten seconds. We are catching so much right now. Like. I don't understand why it's so heavy right now. Are you getting a heavy feeling or is it just... No. See, are you trying to appear to me? I think I saw you before. Then I heard you. Um, so we need to keep... I need to get one answer to see who is doing this. Is it the woman? Is it the, the boy? We need what to keep moving. This? I'm being serious. You need to listen. Are you the boy? We need to get to the open ground. Who's there? hurts so badly. I'm sorry for freaking you out. This is just not what I expected. Oh, it's really cold. Like all of a sudden. I need to know before I leave this forest who was just doing that to me? Who did we just encounter? Look, I'm sorry if you're just trying to communicate like I asked. I asked for it. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> just please tell me who I'm talking to. Or Holy sh! I'm oh. calling it. I'm You've got to be. Out. Right now is the clearest. One of the clearest moments. Chelsea, that's behind you. I know. That's literally behind you right now. I'm I'm getting freaked out. I want to leave. I at least want to leave this area. We don't have to leave the property, but let's just keep moving. I'm not getting the good at all. Who's talking? Holy. I truly feel like something is trying to target me. Now I did not mean for this to be any sort of negative or dark experience, I am right now, I think, experiencing something that is different than the spirits that people actually claim to see and hear here. Like, come on, guys. Joe, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light. Shine the light. What? There's someone standing right there. The camera's not focusing on it. Standing there? Yeah. Right near the bench over there. Yeah. Okay. It's starting to rain pretty hard too. Yeah, we might have to actually this has been a really weird 
Investigation. Was that just a whisper or a hiss? Seriously. Mm. They're not telling me who it is either. Like it's I think, weird. I think we might have been, oh, I can't even speak anymore. I think we might be overstaying. Oh, oh, oh. Listen to that. That was something. Before we go, please give me a name of who we just encountered. I've never had that happen. This is the first time. The first time I've actually had something happen where I felt like I was in a bubble and stuff was only happening to me. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I think we need to go. Colton. Colton. Thank you, Colton. You scared the shit out of me. Voice. Mm -hmm. What the hell did I hear? Yeah. Colton's screaming. Maybe Colton's the boy. Maybe. Okay. Let's, um, I'm out of battery here. Williams. I'm straight up out of battery, so um, we're going to have to pop back up at the car and um, wrap this night up. It's starting to get really bad too with the weather, so <sighs> Christ almighty. What was that? That was an experience and a half. That was something beyond what I was expecting. By a long shot. Same. That actually freaked me out. Like, what was that? What was that feeling? What was that cluster f of a moment? I'm s like, excuse my language, but I don't understand what we just encountered. I don't even know if that was them. Were you getting any messages at all? Just about like being cautious. Uh, near the end was my main messages I was getting. That's it? Yeah. Just a lot of repeating of like mindful, cautious, like so, turn back. Someone there that wasn't, or like that didn't have any ill intentions was trying to give you a message right there. I'm gonna explain something to you guys right now. The thing that I saw, I'm not even joking, it's legs were like, kind of like bent in, but they had their back like this and they're like walking. You know, do you see this right now? Like, are you seeing the posture and like the position? They're like, whatever I saw was walking like this and they were really short probably yay big and they were on the right side of the path so like i have no idea what we encountered i'm excited to kind of review it and like hear the evps and stuff yeah but to like just but to almost see if the cameras picked up what i heard yeah do you know what i mean yeah this is just like freaking me the hell out from what people use as a normal path during the daytime and you know a normal museum for like historic stuff this spot holds a lot more and um i don't know <laughs> i truly don't know guys so um we're gonna wrap this up right here and head out this is this is incredible this is truly incredible i wish every single one of you guys were here right now to to witness all of this like i wish you were here in person but <laughs> my god and they didn't even give me a name to like who it was yeah they I mean, did at they, the end i mean but who knows if that was even colton right like maybe colton just popped in i don't know exactly who it could have even been so all right, ready? I don't know. Do you feel a weird vibe going on tonight? Tonight? Yeah, I'm. I'm honestly just really ready to go home. Yeah, I feel go that. see Kia. Like, there's a weird vibe in the air tonight, and this might have been a little bit different. And I'm really sorry, guys, but sometimes when you throw yourself out into the open like that, anything can go. So, all right, don't forget hit that like button. We're gonna be popping in for a last episode in the next video, so make sure to go and tune into that. 
In the meantime, go and check out our merch store. Keep an eye on both channels, and we'll see you guys in the next. Peace and love.